Time now for a quick break. When we come back, it's Chef Jason in the kitchen. Uh, in the Studio One kitchen, uh, Jason's here from the Noodle House. Looking forward to this one. T tell us again what you're doing. Uh, it's a wok fried chili and squid uh, prawn dish. Okay. So I don't have wok at home. What do I use? No, so you need, all I've got here is a, a thick based frying, uh, pan, yeah? frying pan that's non stick. As you can see, it's on a hot heat. Um, obviously, you're never going to recreate the intensity of a, the heat from a wok yeah. in, a, in a restaurant kitchen. And I haven't so got one of those pedals underneath either. No, really. no, no, no. You don't have the air injection. You don't have that. And actually, you wouldn't want it in your home, to be honest, because <laughs> you'd be emptying your little color gas bottle straight away. But okay, get, okay. get your pan hot, a little yep. bit of oil. Yep. And now, what I've done here is with the squid, obviously, we buy it as a tube. It's cleaned. Yep. And I've just cut it open, scraped it clean, and then cut it into bite-sized pieces and then lightly scored it. Handy tip, that will get the heat into it, so it cooks quicker. Okay, okay. And then with the prawns, these already bought, frozen, cleaned, uh, shelled, peeled, and I'll just split oh them no. open again, okay. so the heat goes in. Four minutes, Jason. Four just minutes, you know. okay. super duper, right. So, very, very easy. Prawns. This dish, I'm putting six in. And uh, I mean, there's such a variety of prawns available to us these days. Does Absolutely. it really matter what kind you use or not really? It's down to preference. I mean, I personally like the raw black tiger prawns, but the Vanami is equally as good. Some people prefer a smaller size. I think they're slightly sweeter. Yeah. Uh, you can buy the big. Obviously, on the last time I was on the show, I yeah. had the big butter prawns yeah. shell on. Uh, I nearly ran out of time, so I've gone for the smaller nearly prawns. Nearly, you didn't though, right? Let's <laughs> no, go we, we, we pulled that together. Um, and then all I'm doing is over a high heat, so I'm getting some colour into there. Nice. You can see that, Tom. Yep. That's bringing the sweetness out and bringing the caramelisation out. And it's amazing how quickly Absolutely. shellfish like this cooks, isn't it? Super quick, super healthy, low fat, high protein. I'm literally just going to put that to the side now in the same pan. A little bit more oil. Yep. Not a lot. Yeah. Red onion. Oil. Does it matter or not? No, uh, we just use vegetable oil. Yep. Uh, you want? Don't use. Um, an extra virgin olive oil because it has a low smoke point. Yeah, yeah. So it's great for dressings and salads, but for cooking purposes, use an olive oil. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, or again, down to preference. Okay. Clarified butter you could do, but it'd be very rich. All right. So a bit of onion goes in. A bit of red onion. Again, we want to soften that. The red onion's sweeter, less harsh than the Spanish white onions. Yep. Two and a half minutes. Chef. Yeah. No problem. So you can see this is colouring up. This is just spring onion. We're just using the green of that. Is this uh, is this on the menu down at Noodle House at the moment, it's or is it something you're toying with? No, it's coming on to our seafood promotion, which starts on the 20th of January. Oh, nice. Okay. Um, if it's as successful as, as we're hoping it will be, then there's every potential that it would come onto the core menu okay. the next time we change it. Two minutes left, Dave. No problem. So, the onions are in, softened. And this is what I love about the spring onion, is, is keeping hold of that. So often people get rid of that, so that's part of the onion, isn't it? full of flavour. This fish sauce, yes. a little bit in, not a lot, because it is salty. This is our, in, our spicy red ginger and chilli sauce. Okay. Again, down to personal preference. You can make it as intense as you like, or less intense by yeah, putting yeah. less in. And then this is just a simple vegetable stock. So that's a stock that goes in on top afterwards? Yeah. All right. Look at that. The colours in there, the flavours as well. And then you just cook it down. And we've done this in under five minutes at the moment. And the people that say they don't have time to cook at home. Super easy. You can, you can prepare the prawns in advance, you can prepare the onions, you can prepare the squid in advance, even the night before. You're still getting all that flavour through it, yeah. Absolutely, because yeah. you're cooking it in the pan. Everything that goes into the base of the pan, you're lifting off with the stock, with the fish sauce. Super easy. I would say very healthy. Prawns, low fat. High protein. And uh, I mean, I suppose you could use this as a base dish. I mean, you're going to serve it with a bit of rice tonight. You could yeah. whack a few noodles in there or something like you that. You could do. It's, I mean, traditionally, it is served as it is yeah. uh, and then eaten with either rice or actually like a roti chanai. Uh, yeah. It's a flat Malaysian bread okay. with the hand. So you'd pick up, tear the bread, and then you pick it up. Um, obviously, as a chef, I would save the best fit for myself and use the bread and eat out of the pan. <laughs> Uh, listen, what we're going to do is let you uh, finish ready. up here, uh, Jace. What we're going to go and do is, 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 is do the old uh, the guessing game today. So we'll no come problem. back and taste this in just a few no seconds. I'll just keep that warm. But that's just going nicely there. We've got the rice ready as well. We've got our Noodle House uh, chopsticks ready to go. Uh, let's get the guessing game going. Perfect. See you in a minute.
time to play the guessing game. And on the phone, we have Sheila. Hello, Sheila. Hi, yes. Hi. Are you ready to play the guessing game? I am. Great. Yes. Tonight, Sheila, you will be answering questions on art and literature. Uh, if you don't know the answer, please say pass as quickly as possible. Will do. All right, Sheila. So if you're ready, your time starts now. Who had an encounter with the three bears? Red Riding Hood. No. Goldilocks. <laughs> uh, Geppetto, the woodcarver, created which wooden boy? Pinocchio. Correct. That's correct. What are the patterns called which are applied to the hands of Indian Middle Eastern women during weddings and other celebrations? Henna. henna. Correct. Uh, who were all the king's horses and men unable to put together again? Uh, um, ben. Who? Um, uh, oh, <laughs> it was Humpty Dumpty. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Which artist said everything you imagine, everything you can imagine is real? Salvador Dali? No, no, it's Picasso. What's the name of the wizard at the court of King Arthur? Pass. It was Merlin. Which artist painted a number of pictures of sunflowers? Um, oh, pass. I know it, but pass. Uh, the time is up. It was Vincent van Gogh. They're tough, aren't they, when you put <laughs> under pressure and yeah. those answers but are demanded. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, you've got two. Uh, still the possibility to come back for the final at the end of the week. It was nice. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Sheila, thank you very much indeed thank you, for Sheila. taking part. I mean, it, the, the questions weren't super simple. You know, simple. it's so easy. We've got the answers in front of us. Uh, yeah, we, we know it. <laughs> Jason was giving all the answers there. He's got the answers oh, in front of him as well. Oh, wow. Look at that. So, thanks, mate. So, garnishing with? Just some very finely sliced spring onion tops. Again, adds a slight freshness when you're cutting through the chilli. Try. Enjoy, right. please. Can we dive in? Mm -hmm. Please do. Busy, busy, busy year for you, isn't it? It's There's a lot going on this year. Yeah, there's... a. Uh, a lot of openings going on. There's obviously a lot of menu work going on again. I mean, Noodle House has gone global now, is that right? Getting more and more global yeah. each year. This year, yeah. We're, um, we're going to open our first one in the UK, which is very exciting. Oh. We opened uh, Moscow last October, which was amazing. That is so, yeah, delicious. Yeah, we we're going out there. Do you like that, Ash? Love it. That is a good dish from Moscow, because that will warm your inner soul, that's for sure, <laughs> isn't it's, it? It's nice and spicy, but still the edible spicy. That's what I like yeah. about it. Is that, is that so you, can, you can adjust the spice level mm. to your own personal preference. Well, it's delicious. Mm. And if you want to find out how this is prepared, log on to our Facebook fan page, facebook.com forward slash Studio One Live. And very quickly, thanks to all our guests, to Chef Jason. And Thank you for having me again. For watching. Beauty, a perfectly cooked these food. Squid that's not too rubbery, the prawns just melt in your mouth. Thank you very much indeed. You're very happy, welcome. Happy, Thank happy, happy. Uh, tomorrow, what have we got? Thursday is fashion, of course, isn't it? Uh, how to style for work. Uh, and are the kite festivals back? So come fly your kite. Have a up good night. To the highest height in San Francisco. Mm. Mm.